Howdy denizens! What better way to ring in the new year than with a spanking brand new episode of Kakalaki Movie Madness. I'm Crazy Jason. I'm the other Jason. And to kick off the new year, we are going on some post-Christmas sales hunting. Hit some brick and mortars like Best Buy and Target maybe, who knows. First thing though, we're heading to this little, uh, I don't know if it's a comic book Out shop way, or, kind of you know, uh, OJ over here found it, so I'm going to let him take over. Yeah, um, it's called uh, Dark Side Comics and Collectibles, or Video Games and Collectibles, sorry. Um, and I found it on the internet today when I was looking for another comic book shop aside from the one that we had in Spartanburg. Because no, they dude. really don't have a really big dude. selection. Dude, we're not even recording. Oh, we're, we're not? No, we are. Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, so I was looking for another comic book shop aside from the one that we have in Spartanburg because they really don't have a lot of like prop replicas or anything like that, the kind of stuff that we normally look for. So I just found this place on Google. They had some pictures of the store, and uh, so we're going to go over and check it out, see if we can find it. So basically, it sounds like the Holy Grail. Yeah, it, what it you're looks saying. like, yeah, it looks like, it looks like, Valhalla. Yeah, Valhalla, exactly. Are uh, uh, the different places that you know in Star Trek V? Yeah. Saying, what are Shakari. Shakari, yes. This place is Shakari, we hope. All right, fingers crossed. There we go. There it is. Yes, Dark score. Side, games and collectibles. Oh, yeah. A new gem in yep. G Vegas, baby. Right on. So all right, so before we even go in, check yeah, that out. We haven't even opened the door. The, the Exorcist, it's the bed, and then, yeah, there's just a ton of good shit in here. Let's go find out what's going on. Dude, so the Promised Land. This is the Promised Land. I would fall to my knees, but I, I don't want to embarrass myself. Yeah. Um, look, they have the, uh, the Spider Walk Reagan, and they have the, uh, I mean, they've got, yeah, they've got, they've got a bub, for crying out loud. Yeah, so show the bub there's, right uh, there's also the uh, Reagan in the bed. Yeah. The the head spins three hundred sixty degrees. Check. That is that is, that is very too cool sweet. from Day of the Dead as my favorite yeah, with his series, little bucket so. and the tape recorder. So cool. And I just got this guy here, man. That is Yeah. Awesome. The big daddy over there yeah, is Yeah, uh, I still have to play that game. So I'm going to tell you, he's got some cool standees. Yeah. Maybe this, going home uh, with this one right here. Okay. Yeah, that that Fallout three one is sweet. Pretty I just got this guy too for uh yeah. No, not. I didn't you get this the, one. Uh, the Carpenter version. Oh, the thank original. God. original. Yeah. Thank God I did. I knew there's something off about that. Now this Kiefer Sutherland, I may be wrong about this, but this is the only one they made. Isn't no, it? they. Uh, I believe so, actually. Yeah. Well, where's the Fell Dog? I don't know. Corey Feldman action figures aren't in uh, great demand. I, well, hate, I mean, uh, you know, he made the sequel, so I don't understand. Yeah, we got the uh, small good guy, and then another bub. I like the fact that they have a Freddy Krueger. Specifically from, from Nightmare on Elm Street Five. Yeah, and then uh, this is pretty cool too. That is awesome. Yeah. I just now saw this. Oops! As I tear the guy's shit up, that's nice. Uh, yeah, prices are very, very fair very too. Fourteen ninety nine, sixteen ninety nine. The cool thing is, you you do have to ask about prices for specifics, but that leads to no stickers being on the packaging. That's why they're not on there. Which is very, very awesome. So we're gonna check everything out and max out a couple credit cards just and. Just uh, here because I mean we're just running out of time. There's so much. Yeah. He sells posters. Yeah, you got. There's more t -shirts, figures over here. Yeah, t-shirts. He sells movies too, by the yep, way. Yeah, movies DVDs over there. Yeah. And. Uh, oh, and check this out. Just. Here's more of the. Uh, if you want to. Proper. If you want to blow some some serious money. Drop some serious coin. Yeah. yeah. There's a uh, signed trick or treat. Where is it signed mm -hmm. by? Not really interesting. We should tell them our uh, Geno stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the AT, at is cool. Wow. Out of Dark Side, and I gotta say, glad you fucking found this place, man. Yeah. Um, just, glad you found this yeah. place. I came out of there, had to get it. Number one thing, Bob. And I think we got a in store shot of Bob out of the case. Really awesome sculpt. Um, just, <laughs> I mean, they had so many figures. You you, you saw in the in, in the footage, but um, I, I don't know what to say, man. This is a fucking awesome place. Yeah. Matt's a cool guy. Uh, the the guy that owns the store. 
we'll be coming back uh, to shoot a feature just on on the store here. Yeah, um, it was kind of weird the way I found it. I just was Googling other stores aside from our go-to comic book store in Spartanburg. Found this one, and uh, I'm really fucking glad we did because, uh, yeah, I ended up getting the Bob as well. Um, which is yeah, that's probably there. one of the uh, the first and only figures I'll actually unbox because it's you just, sabotage yourself. By I got the dented the, one. Yeah. So um, yeah, prices are very very fair in there too. Um, I, I got the uh, Wrath of Khan phaser. I got the motion picture one. Basically, the only difference is color. But um, yeah, I, I went ahead and snagged that. The completest. Yeah, and then I got these little guys too. They're um, from Alien. Um, they're just like kind of like the Lego figures. I got this one is out of the box, so you can kind of see what the what the deal is with it. Um, Face Yeah, I just thought they were cool. They were they were about six bucks, and um, I think six fifty, and um, that was kind of a cool deal. So I decided to pick up a couple of those. You know, they look cool on desk or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's honestly like one of the best stores that we have found. And you know, we've driven by this thing several times. Uh, and coming from the pawn shop and didn't even know it was here. And, so if you uh, live in, in, in the upstate, if yeah. you live in western North Carolina... It's worth the trip. It's, and, worth, uh, uh, it's worth your drive. Yeah, it's the, the shopping center that he's in is actually kind of poorly laid out, so don't stop looking. It's actually on a lower level near the, uh, the oxygen bar... Um, down below Publix, uh, near the uh, K line, canines and felines marketplace. So, so don't stop looking. We almost did, and that would have been a disaster. Yeah, that would have been horrible. Yeah, the so, place is is beyond yeah. awesome. Be sure to tell them that Kakalaki Movies sent you. Yeah. Okay, so we decided to swing in a Cash America pawn just to see if anybody's traded in their. Uh, Christmas gifts yeah. for some quick cash. You About a half know. a mile down the road from Dark Side, so uh, we just figured we'd swing in here, and then uh, after this, we're going to do a couple of the retail giants That's and see right. what the after Christmas sales are like. So into Cash America we go. Once more into the breach, dear friends. All right, so you may be wondering why no spy cam footage. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, the problem was is. They, uh, they kind of, uh, you know, frustrated the hell out of us because we stood there literally in front of two employees. Over 15 minutes. Over 15 minutes. Uh, and then finally when I lay down the DVDs that I was going to buy, just lay them on the counter and start to walk we away. Walk, yeah, we'll walk um, off. Did you guys need some help? Well, yeah, we we're going to look at something, but we've been waiting a long time. And then just to say, oh, yeah, the we, our DVDs went back up. That was our holiday special because two weeks ago they were $8. And now they're, the Blu-rays. Now they're between 10 and 15 which I'm sorry. I'm yeah. not paying retail for a used DVD. I'll wait for Gina. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Cash America it didn't do us... I'll still, we'll still go back to Cash America. It's hot and yeah, cold. I mean, it does. It you know, does. the fact that I was able to score the Sopranos for eight bucks a piece, yeah, brand new. I mean, you you can get some when some they uh, gems in there. Yeah, when they uh, get a big stock, then uh, they kind of uh, cut prices a good bit. So yeah. yeah. So now let's head on to the big boys, the yeah. brick and mortars. Yes, Best Buy first on the list. All right, so we're here at Big Lots going in, hoping to score some of those Star Trek sets. Yeah, hopefully they've gotten some more in, supposedly, you know. They, Tuesday is the big day. Yeah, DS9 supposedly trickling in, lots of other ones. and uh, So we're going to go in here and see what we can find. Yeah, so funny. Yeah, yes, so we're finding a few more TV show sets here. Um, yeah, things are starting to trickle in. Yeah, but... They get their big loads on Tuesday. Yeah, um, we, this Big hey, Lots hey, is a little bit... no out. double on ton... What the hell? No double entendre meant by the big loads, by the way. Yeah, Don't want to offend anybody. No. Um, so, um, yeah, a lot of, it's, it's a little disorganized after Christmas. Okay, so out of big lots. And the great thing about big lots is you never know what you're going to find. It's like a box of chocolates to Forrest Gump. Yeah, but um, I have my own theory about that, but I'm not going to say because okay. it's controversial. Anyway, um, this is what Crazy Jason got. And what's cool is, you know, we didn't find any of the Star Trek sets that we wanted, but what we did find was Crank Anchors, Season 1. Uncensored. Uncensored, and Season 2. And uh, they were $5 a piece. 
and which I think is a pretty good deal. Yeah. We have yet to look that up online, but um, I think it's a good deal. Yeah. And this show is freaking hilarious. So I'm Fish very, blood. very pleased with this pickup here, folks. Yeah. So I also got Crank Acre Season One. They didn't have another one of Season Two, but that's cool. Um, and then I got Errol Morris uh, documentary Standard Operating Procedure. Um, Errol Morris is just in a class by himself yeah, right now. Yeah, and that movie, if you haven't seen it, it's very, very good. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, it was loose in the box, uh, but if you ask at Big Lots they'll, right. and it's loose, they'll actually crack it open for you. Um, it, there wasn't any damage, so I went ahead and got it. At three bucks, why not? Right, they'll just go ahead and crack a lack it open for yep. you. Yep. And uh, so now we are on to Best Buy. Best Buy, and then we're going to call it a day, I think, because... Um, it's been a good day. Yeah, it's been a good day. It's a good day to die. Okay, so here's Best Buy's little tiny um, thing here. It should be Oh, look what's in there. Look, look what's in there. You should, you should make them try to... Yeah, unfortunately, it's just the DVD. Yeah, but for $8? Like, you, you told me not to do that, remember? Yeah, they, they, they won't. Earlier. Yeah, they won't do it. Oh, there's Labyrinth. Yeah, there's Labyrinth, Dark Crystal, um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Ghostbusters. Superbad, yeah. Underworld is in there, although that's an earlier MPEG-2. The Natural, which yeah. has got really high ratings on the PQ. Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters. Karate Kid. A lot of solid titles. Yeah. Sure. The Professional. Yeah, I definitely. I gotta get that one, one. yeah. The original Jason, the Argonauts. Dogma. Oh, I need, yeah, I need, to, I need Dogma. Jason and the Argonauts? Yeah, there's one on that side, too. And Ghostbusters. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Charlie's, Charlie's Angels. Angels. Okay. House of Flying Daggers. Is... Okay, so uh, we're out of Best Buy, and it was crowded as hell in there, and some individual or individuals is not fond of deodorant. No, don't go into that. Yeah, no, I got, I no. got to. I actually, we'll offend somebody. I got, I don't care. We can't offend anybody we, anymore. We, we got, I actually got a headache from smelling the B.O. It was so pervasive. Don't use the word B.O., it's offensive. Body odor. It, it covered the entire store. It was just so bad, and it was strong everywhere. It wasn't like, you know, it just uh, here and there. No, it, it blanketed the entire store. I'm sure out there somewhere there's a society... For the people who smell of foul odors, <laughs> and 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 they're gonna fucking come after they us, don't man. Like I just, it. Uh, they, just... Yeah, they're not gonna be happy with the oh. fact that I was offended by body odor. But you know what? I'm sorry. Bathe on a regular basis. So anyway, eight dollar Blu-rays. I ended up getting Labyrinth with uh, a young Jennifer Connelly and a uh, poofy-haired David Bowie. Yeah, we were just co commenting in the store that she gets better with age. Yeah, she is actually she is one of those yeah. rare actresses that has gotten more attractive with age. The original Jason and the Argonauts, um, you, you can ha never have enough Ray Harryhausen. Yeah, I mean, really honest. surprised to see that in the eight dollar bin. Yeah, new commentary with Peter Jackson. That's uh, an odd choice, but I can kind of see it working. And then the the professional. Yeah, how can um, you cannot cannot get Leon? You have yeah, to get Leon. I, I had to. Yeah, because uh, Gary Oldman. It's such a classic flick. So uh, yeah, I was actually happy to go in there, and uh, I didn't want to, but you made me go in there, and right, uh, as per usual. Yeah. So, uh, Always. Yeah, so what'd you end up getting? Okay, so I got The Natural, right? Yeah. Again, the, you know, eight, all of these are $8. Um, I've read online that the PQ is very nice on this. Um, they did an outstanding job. I can't wait to see it. I saw it on HDNet Movies last year, and it looked really good, so... Nice. I expect nothing but the best. Leon the Professional. In... The shitty eco packaging. Eco. Not to offend any of the you out there who, who may have designed the eco packaging, right. or, or or if you appreciate the eco packaging because it helps save plastic and therefore helps the environment, which I am also into as well. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, gorgeous movie. I just you know gotta have it on Blu-ray. Yeah. And Vanishing Point. Yeah, I have that. It looks great. And it all just a classic, fucking classic movie. Good to know. Good to know. Look forward to uh, watching it. Now, I've got a solution to that Leon problem. That god awful eco case shit. Dynex. They're selling these 10 packs. Uh, I hope the sale's still going on when this goes up because 
These things are normally like $13 yes. for a 10 pack. Five bucks a piece, folks. That's 50 cents a Blu-ray pack, and that's doing pretty good. That's, that's uh, almost as good as you can do getting them on eBay. Right, and then you yeah. don't have to pay shipping and all that. Now, these are two packs. Nice. Um, nice, nice and sturdy. Very nice and sturdy. Um, the cool thing about these that I like is you can use them as a single, and you don't. it doesn't bother you because it's the same size. Right. And you don't know. But I have a new plan. Crazy Jason has a new plan. Because, you know, I don't do the upgrade thing, right? I don't buy a Blu-ray and then get rid of my DVD counterpart. Because until uh, Blu-ray players are pervasive in every laptop, computer, every home that I visit, I'm going to have to keep the DVD you counterpart. You need that flexibility. Yeah, yeah. But what I can do is I can start creating my own DVD Blu-ray combo packs. Nice. Right? Good idea. If I just have a single Blu-ray and just a single DVD edition with no special art cover, of which I have many, then I'll just start creating my own two packs. In fact, I got two of these suckers, so I got 20 total, but I plan on heading to another Best Buy and... Clean just, them out. Yeah, clean them out, baby. Yeah. Because that's my new plan. All right, so that's a, it for today's edition of... Kakalaki Movie Madness, baby. <laughs>